So here we got that 11 16th ratcheting flare wrench. And here we got a three quarter socketed adapter. And I don't know if it's a good thing when you can lay down a ton of force with the wrong size and you don't have any problems. That should tell you all you need to know about a tool, but we're still gonna review the ratcheting flare nut wrench that also flexes and compare that to the standard flare nut wrenches by Gear Wrench. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris. Today, we're gonna take a look at these gear wrench ratcheting flare wrenches. We're gonna compare these to some of the standard gear wrench flare nut wrenches. We're gonna see just how strong these are, see if these are a gimmick or if they work really, really well. These remind me a little bit of a speed wrench, but now we got a little flair to them because these are the ratcheting flex flare nut wrenches. When you're working on your brake lines, sometimes they can be rusted on a little bit these things can get really, really tight. You can use these on hydraulic lines or some of the other things for like air conditioner lines. Lots of different places that these flare nut wrenches might come in handy, but let's see if either one of these are a good fit for you. So real quickly here, we'll show you the difference. Here's the standard flare nut wrench. Here is the ratcheting flex head flare nut. You can slip that on and it allows you to ratchet back and then tighten it. So that is the biggest difference between these. That's really, really kind of handy. The thing that might be an issue is this is so long compared to the standard flare nut wrench that it may have trouble getting into really tight access places, but really that is really handy. Now I'm not sure if this is gonna be able to take as much force as the standard flare nut wrench, so we're gonna get to it and find out. Now, if we look at some of the specifications that we can be using for this, we're gonna use the ASME spec, which would put this on 320 inch pounds, which technically is right around 26.6 pound feet. And when you go ahead and do this test, you're basically supposed to get it to that spec and then you're supposed to look for any damage that has occurred to the actual wrench itself. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this up to that 26.6. And here you can see we slipped off on that at 20.5. So here we can see there isn't any visual damage to it. We're gonna try the opposite direction. Again, this is that gear wrench, ratcheting flare nut wrench. We're trying to get to 26.6 foot pounds. And again, 18.6. So really, really not impressed with this ratcheting flare nut wrench at all. And we are pretty much not really able to do a lot with that. That's really, really disappointing. So I'm gonna say we didn't even get a chance to crack that thing up, but it is just not able to grab on. So here is our standard flare nut wrench. And now again, this is the 7 16ths. We're trying to hit 26.6 foot pounds. So we hit our spec and we go ahead and visibly inspect that and we have no issues at all with that. So we'll go ahead and try that in a different direction here. 26.6 foot pounds. And we got over that. And again, we do not have any problems with that standard flare nut wrench. So we'll go ahead and see if we can get that up just a little bit more. This isn't that big of a fastener. Get that up to 36 pound feet and again no issues with that so I'd have to say you know we were able to meet and exceed that spec and didn't have any problems with the standard flare nut wrench but boy this ratcheting flare nut wrench go ahead and let me know down below in the comments what you think of this product I can tell you I really dislike it so far 
So here we have the 916 ratcheting flare nut wrench. Spec on this is 510 inch pounds. So means we need to hit 42.5 pound feet. So we'll go ahead and see if we can hit that 42.5. All right, so we were able to meet and exceed that. Go ahead and try in the opposite direction. 42.5. All right, so we were able to go past that as well. Visual inspection says it's doing okay. We'll go ahead and try this a little bit more. So we we're able to blow by that 42.5, but from a top down view here, you can tell that it's starting to strain. This is the 916. And we started slipping off at 74 foot pounds. So visually, the, the tool still looks okay. Might be stretched out a little bit here, but again, it's still visually no cracks or major, major deformation. So let's try that one more time. And we must have stretched that out. So try going back the opposite direction here. And it's done for. Well, it was able to meet and exceed that. <clears throat> Once that thing gets stretched out, it is done for. So here we have the standard 916 flare nut wrench. Now this is a lot shorter, so we won't be able to put as much force on by hand. But again, we're just trying to get to that 42.5. No problem getting up there. Visually, the tool looks all right. So we'll do it from the other direction here. So 42.4, visual inspection, no issues. So really, the smaller sizes are really, really tough to get to meet spec. So we'll go ahead and see what we can get this non-ratcheting flare nut wrench up to. Uh, you can see it start giving. So while that did slip, it didn't crack. 65.7. Really in all actuality, yeah, we did open that up. There's been definite deformation in there. And really surprised in that too. So the last one that we have up here that we're gonna do is the 1116. This is a really interesting product. You guys can put your own choice words down below in the comments, but this one here is supposed to roughly do for ASME spec 62.5 foot pounds. So we're hitting 62.5. No, we're not, and we slipped. So on visual inspection without gauging it or anything, it doesn't look like it's deformed, but it potentially could be. There's always just a lot of play in these. That's probably why I don't like these either. I mean, you can put a lot of force on here. Yeah, it looks like it's shelled. Yeah, 57.4. So it looks like we're not able to get up to spec, which is 62.5. So we'll try one last time to get this up to spec here. We're gonna give this a fighting chance. We're gonna give it a little pressure there. Hopefully it bites in good. And there's nothing left in there. So we were not able to get up to, oh, there we go, 63.7, finally, but, I would say that we have failed. Ah, 
that's really interesting. So now it's now it's going to decide to grab on there. So because we had such an interesting time with the flare nut ratcheting wrench, we're going to go ahead and try the standard flare nut wrench here and see if it's able to grab on a little bit better. It is not. So we have pretty much rounded off the bolt that we've used there. We actually had metal shards come apart with that. And that is actually a grade eight bolt. And that's what's gonna happen if you don't have a really good flare nut wrench. Give it one more shot here. So, I mean, at this point in time, we've rounded that fastener off so much that that barely grabs on. We were able to get 30 foot pounds. So when it comes to that flare nut wrench, the non-ratcheting one is still able to lay down a lot of force on that rounded fastener. At the end of the day, when it comes to flare nuts, I think you need to be buying the best tool you can for your application. And that's gonna take the experience of you listening to the people around you, not only here on YouTube, but in the industry that you work as well as work next to you. Talk to your buddy, talk to the shop next door, talk to your friends and see what works for them. I can tell you that the gear wrench, ratcheting flare wrench would not be a product that I would want to attempt to work for me because I fear that I would round off my fasteners a lot easier than I would with a fixed flare nut. Even the regular gear wrench, flare nut wrenches, they seem a little on the soft side, but that's just my opinion. Hopefully you're picking the right tool for the right job. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, work smarter, not harder. And we'll catch you in the next video.